On June 26, the Supreme Court was scheduled to hear Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal's bail plea regarding money laundering charges related to the alleged excise policy scam. However, on the same day, the Central Bureau of Investigation formally arrested the Delhi CM inside Delhi's Rose Avenue Court in connection with the alleged liquor policy case. A Delhi court also granted three-day custody of Kejriwal to the CBI. The question arises, why did the CBI arrest Arvind Kejriwal in the same alleged liquor policy case in which the ED has already arrested him? And how will this arrest impact Kejriwal's release? First, it's important to understand that the investigations by the CBI and ED differ from each other. The ED investigates alleged money trials, while the CBI focuses on proving corruption and bribe-taking by public servants. In case of Arvind Kejriwal, the ED arrested him on money laundering charges. Section 3 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, which criminalizes money laundering, list concealment, possession, acquisition, use, projecting as untainted property or claiming as untainted property as crimes. The charge against Kejriwal was the generation of alleged tainted funds and its use. The CBI registered a case of corruption under the Prevention of Corruption Act in 2022, but it did not name Kejriwal as an accused. To arrest Kejriwal, the CBI would first need to gather some plausible evidence linking Kejriwal directly to the alleged scam. The ED has accused Kejriwal as both the Chief Minister of Delhi and the convener of the Aam Admi Party of being vicariously liable for the alleged tainted funds. However, this shouldn't be an option in the corruption case as the direct link is also suspect in the ED's case. Will this case impact Kejriwal's release? The Prevention of Corruption Act does not have strict bail qualifications like the PMLA, which deals with money laundering. Under the PC Act, an accused can request regular bail following the Code of Criminal Procedure. However, an amendment introduced in 2014 states that no accused can be released on bail under the PC Act unless the public prosecutor has the opportunity to oppose the bail application.